Hey bitches, it's Thursday, and that means I am your queen of the day at Queens of the Week. Alright, this week's theme is actually not even a theme or a topic or anything controversial. It's just a fun tag video, get to know you, randomness from, well, I guess the theme of summer. Gosh, when I was young, my best summer memory was church camp. Like, no lie, every summer I looked forward to summer camp. Church camp, summer camp. Um, in fact, I became a church camp counselor just because not only would my summer camp go from a week, it went to the whole summer. I loved it. It was my favorite. But now that I'm an adult, my favorite summer memory is gay days. And the funny thing is, every year gay days, it has a very different memory. One summer it's all parks. One summer it's all circuit parties. One summer it's parks and circuit parties. Um... I love gay days. It's my favorite week of summer. This is the first week of June in summer. It's so fun in Orlando. You have to look into it. It's a guaranteed good time. You also will love it. I don't think I have a bad summer memory. Um, I don't dwell on things negative. Oh, I do remember. My worst summer memory ever was 19 some 2000 something. I don't know. Um, it was the summer before my senior year. <sighs> um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm very white trash. I grew up very, very poor in a very large family, seven kids on a pastor's budget, minister, blah, 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 blah. Um, we got evicted from our house the summer after my junior year. My senior year was completely planned out. It was basically like I was going to be the lead in the school play. Um, I was going to be this and that and then choir, this and that. Um, I had a couple psychology classes and mostly like free periods of just whatever I wanted to do. I had all my general ed taken care of and it was just ki 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 la la la. I was on the swim team. It was just fun. But my senior year, the summer right before I had to move to Kentucky, it was horrible. I was on the swim team for seven years. I love swimming. Um, I won many awards in competition, but I love swimming. And in fact, if you give me water, I'm in it. I don't care if it's a lake or an ocean or a river or a pond or a pool or a hot tub. I love it. I just love the water. Um, clean water is always nice. But yeah, lagoons, pools, lakes, oceans. I just love water. I'm totally a water freak. Hot tubs. Oh, I just love them. I like to be wet. Alright, so out of drag, if I'm at the nude beach or um, somewhere masculine, this is my favorite swimsuit. Um, I used to go naked at the nude beach all the time. And then, because I don't like tan lines, especially if you wear with something revealing. Um, people started to recognize me, and they'd walk up and be like, are you misty eyes? I'm laying there naked on the beach. I'm like, uh, no, go away, you freak. Um, if I'm somewhere conservative, this is my favorite swimsuit. And I think, and I actually never wore this. <laughs> I actually bought this for my, um, birthday party in January. We're gonna have a big pool party at my old place, where I had a barbecue pit and all this other stuff. Um, but I was too hungover, the party was canceled. Um, and my girl favorite swimsuit, so I'm sure I have a picture of it, I'll show you here. Um, I actually bought this to be a dance costume, I was going to sew fringe onto it and whatever, but I've actually just worn it to a lot of events as a girl. Oh my gosh, I'm a water freak again, so I like anything on the water, I like kayaking, I like rafting, I like canoeing, I like water skiing, I like swimming, I like scuba diving, that's my favorite activity, scuba diving. Um, I haven't been scuba diving in years, but while I was in college, health, health phys ed, I would take scuba diving, and I became a third level Naui 
diver. And I love scuba diving. So much that I thought that if I ever got married, I would want to do it scuba diving. Oh, I love scuba diving. Why? If I could trade bodies with anybody right now, it would be Stevie Bobby O. I am so in love with this guy. Like, I've known that for a long time. Like, I'm infatuated, stalking, in love with this guy. But not until just now did I confess to myself out loud that if I could trade bodies with him, I would. Oh my god! I love his body. I love his big fat titties. I love his big fat ass. I know it's all silicone and I don't care. I think he is sexy as shit. Oh my god, he's so beautiful. My first car was a 1977 Monte Carlo. And I loved this car. Like a lot. Like I really loved this car. Like I thought this car was going to be my car for the rest of my life until I crashed it. I drive now a Honda Element. And I love this car. It's my favorite car. Literally, like, for example, I drove to work with this hair, and I'm very tall, and I drove home with this hair. It's not destroyed. Um, I have a really tall friend, and I asked him what he drove, and he drove a Honda Element. And I'm like, can I sit in it with my hair on to see how tall it is? It's really tall, and I love it. Element. Like, literally, I love the Honda Element, but the dashboard is kind of basic. I wouldn't want it, like, souped up like an Infinity, but in the style, height, comfortability, big backseat of a Honda Element. Ten. Yes! I went every summer. Um, it was like revival. It was like, oh, gosh. It was amazing. I loved summer camp. It was the best ever. I totally went. Every summer. Like, ever. Um, actually, I only went to one camp ever. It was Harvest Ranch. It was a total Jesus freak Bible camp, um, church camp for Pentecostal, non-denominational, charismatic kids. Um, it was in Indiana, Louisville, Indiana, I think, actually. And it was awesome. Totally loved it. I think the best part about camp was I could just be myself. Like, I wasn't the oldest brother of seven. I wasn't, like, the pastor's kid. I wasn't like whatever. I could be whoever I wanted. I could be cool one summer. I could be geeky one summer. I could recreate myself. But the best part about summer camp was I could meet kids from all over the U.S. Like Michigan and Ohio and all these random places that we go to my camp and I could like literally bond with them. Unfortunately, now I'm like an out gay person and I'm probably not friends with anybody that I ever went to camp with. But those memories are true. Summer loving, um, summer romance. Am I single? Yes, I'm single number 14. Um, it's funny because did you guys ever watch Medium? I love that show. But I always thought that the husband was the perfect husband. He was nerdy, he was smart, but he stood by her. And I, I, I pick her because... She was psychic, and she was different, and she was a freak, but no matter what kind of trouble she got herself into, he always stood by her, and he always loved her, and I think that's my secret husband. I want the nerdy scientist from Medium. That would be my perfect husband. I mean, the reality is, if you're going to break it down, I want kind, considerate, compassionate, passionate, romantic, loyal, dedicated, honest, monogamous rich, generous, supportive, all those things. But my marriage, I would break it down to, I want the marriage of medium. Yeah, I'm a freak. Yeah, I'm a little weird. Yeah, I'm a little eccentric. But if I love you, I love you. And it's forever. And I hope that you side with me even when you don't understand. And that happened a lot in medium. And that's I think that's why I liked it so much. No! Actually, that's really weird. Whenever I've been in a relationship, no, I don't cyberstalk him. I don't read his emails. I don't read his text messages. In the, the last serious relationship I had, his phone would always be, like, you know, just hanging out right wherever I was. Did I ever look at it and was curious? No, never. I never read his emails. I never did anything because I trusted him. And I think a relationship should be based on trust. 
Um, in fact, I never cyber stalked him, and maybe because I don't have time. Like literally, when I'm at home, I'm not online checking the home screen to see what everybody's doing. I I can't be bothered. I literally don't. I don't. Um, but I have been caught cyber stalking people that I'm in love with or crushing on. Like, who is he talking to? Does anybody talk to him? Does he like people like me? Does um. Do you have gay friends? You know, things like that. Um, like Facebook only. But yeah, no, I respect your privacy. And if you're my boyfriend, you better respect mine. Yeah, but that comes with trust. Date. Um, I would say September 23rd. It's not too cold. I'm just kidding. Um... Oh gosh, I like things that involve creativity and bonding. Um, I'm a total workaholic, so a lot of times my dates... God, it's 2012. My dates generally are just like hooking up. But if it's a real date, I would love to do things like something creative, like Color Me Mine. Let's go to Color Me Mine. Let's go to dinner. Let's go to Color Me Mine and create something, like pottery or a vase or something like together and as we're painting we're talking and bonding and getting to know each other and then go see a movie and then sit on the beach I don't know I like to be spontaneous I like to be creative I like amusement parks I like um, exploring let's travel I love to get out and do stuff that's a perfect day oh gosh my first guy crush. I don't know if he was my guy crush or my best friend. Because I think he is my best friend, but I was also in love with him. Um, his name was Aaron, and we were in fourth grade together at a dyslexic school for children that read backwards. <laughs> and um, we both lived out of the bus district of the school. So my mom and his mom would take turns carpooling. So I would spend the night at his house, he would spend the night at my house, and our moms would take each, each of us. We lived in the same neighborhood, but they would drive us all the way to school. And I loved him. I remember when I had to move to Indiana. He was in Alaska. When I had to move to Indiana, I was very sad because I would miss him a lot. And then I think I had another crush in fourth grade on this guy named Joe. Um, and I used to sing songs about him in the backyard, like, Joe, I'm not going to say his last name, but I found him on Facebook recently. Oh my god, he's so short and not cute. Uh, seventh or eighth grade, I was madly in love with this girl named Heather. But now looking back, did I want to be her, or did I want to be in love with her? I don't know. I was hardcore in love with her. I would write her secret love notes in her locker. But I never wanted to reply. It didn't care if she knew who it came from. It was like literally anonymous. How funny if she figured it out, it was me. Um, growing up, it was The Vortex, King's Island, or Cedar Point. But now, it's totally Disney, and or Universal Studios. I love roller coasters, but I also love like the Epcot Center, like going and learning like about different cultures, but also about science and like how things work and why things grow and what makes you tick. I don't know, like, but I just love going to theme parks. So I'm going to say all of them. Like, let's go. Going with the King's Island Vortex. Love the Vortex. Um, if you want to go old school, I also like the Beast which is the world's largest wooden roller coaster. But it was very shaky and fun and scary. I loved it. But the Vortex, whoa. Loved that ride. I don't think that any ride so far has topped that for me. Oh, gosh. When I was little, I loved elephant ears. I don't know why, because I think the only time during the year you could get an elephant ear was at the fair or carnival. Um... But now, I don't really give a shit about elephant ears. I don't know. I think it's because the whole weight loss journey, like, uh, donuts are empty calories. Like, I don't even crave it. I don't want it. I don't even... If you get one, I'll taste it. Um, but, like, going to Santa's Enchanted Forest or uh, Miami County Fair or 
you know, things like that. I think there's this place that has, like, um, the chicken Philly. It's so good. And it looks like vomit. And I'm, like, a total vomit a phobe person. But they take the chicken and the cheese and they just, like, <laughs> slop it all together. Like, hardcore is seriously good. Alright, and then we have a fan that actually posted on our Queens of the Wink fan page at Facebook.com. He wanted to know if we could do a video on our thoughts on Lady Gaga. Here you go, babe. Um, my thoughts on Lady Gaga. Gosh, Lady Gaga. I think she's fucking amazing. I think that she is brave enough to go out and do things that nobody else is afraid of. Um, like, who else would think to wear bacon in public? She did it. She rocked it. She owned it. She turned it. She's fierce. Um, I don't know, because the thing is, like Christina Aguilera, she really has a good voice. So, I'm genuinely a fan of Lady Gaga. Yes! She does copy things other people does. Who doesn't? I'm not the first person to wear a bottom eyelash. So, therefore, I'm copying somebody. You know, unless you're a Native American, you're not from this country. I mean, your immigrants are from somewhere else. Um, so, no, it's hard to say you did it first, but she does it well, and I am definitely a fan of hers. She's not my favorite thing in the world, but I'm definitely a big, big, huge fan. Growing up, my nickname was Puggy, um, because when I was little, a baby, I had, I guess, a pug nose, um, and I've never had a nose job, but I, it, it kind of is no longer a Puggy, I guess. So, my mom actually still calls me that. Um, and it was actually mostly just family. Like, nobody in my life outside of family called me that. But now, I'm the South Florida sweetheart. I'm the eyes of Florida. Um, the Florida Barbie. I've been called a lot of things. Um, the most beautiful girl in the world. That was a self-given nickname, of course. Um, yeah, I guess I have a lot of nicknames. Teddy bear, um, well, yeah, weird shit. Anyways, that was a tag video, um, and the reason we did a tag video is because we wanted to encourage other people to send their replies. So feel free to reply to my video with your answers. Loving you is easy. Talk to you soon.